Okay, welcome to tutorial six, where we're going to be looking at measuring current and looking at series and parallel circuits. So for the first activity, uh, we're going to be looking at series circuits. The reason that these three circuits are series circuits is because current can only flow from 5 volts to 0 volts through one path, which is through this ammeter, through the switch, which is a push to make switch. So when we push the switch, it makes the circuit, which will turn on this buzzer and through down to zero volts. So let's build the first circuit, which was an ammeter, the switch and the buzzer. So I'm going to put in the ammeter to start actually here, only because I'm confident in building circuits. So the ammeter is going to go with the positive side to the positive voltage. Then we're just going to put the other side of the ammeter in the circuit, which then connects to the switch. So I'm going to pop the switch in the circuit like so, making sure the switch goes across, not down the line of the breadboard. Then we're going to connect the buzzer and we want the positive side of the buzzer to go to the positive side of the circuit, which is this side. But then the negative goes to the negative side of the circuit down to zero volts in this case. So that all that left now, turn on our ammeter, turn on our supply, and when we press the switch, we should see, see a current reading and we should hear the buzzer. So that is reading 20.19 amps, 20.19 milliamps, sorry, let's have another look. But 20 milliamps is good enough. So let's write in that value. So 20 milliamps. Next, looking at this, we want to have the switch at the top, the ammeter in the middle, and the buzzer at the bottom. So the switch goes to the top. The ammeter. Connects through the buzzer down to ground and I just need a power connection now oh, not quite going in there very well just need a power connection to my switch and when I press my switch I should hear and see and hopefully you can see that that also reads 20 milliamps. So my final circuit is the switch again at the top, but then goes through the buzzer, through the ammeter down to ground. So I'm just switching over the buzzer and the ammeter. There we go. So I'm now ready to turn on my switch. And that reads 20 milliamps as well. I'm not um, too worried about the decimal points afterwards, which are extremely small values. So in activity one, we looked at the current flowing through in a circuit when we measure the current flowing in from the top of the circuit the current measure running between the switch and the buzzer and the current running after the switch and the buzzer down to the bottom rail to zero volts. And as we can see that all of the readings are identical. So all we're looking to learn about these circuits are that it doesn't matter where you measure the current in a series circuit, it will always measure the same, whether it be at the top, the middle or the bottom. Okay, for activity two, we're going to be looking at the current flowing through a parallel circuit. In this case, we have a bulb and a buzzer in parallel with one another in four different circuits. And we're then going to be looking at the current flowing in the circuit 
in the first one from the positive power supply in the last one down to zero volts in the second one through the buzzer on the right hand side of this parallel circuit and then in the third one on the left hand side through the bulb okay let's build the first circuit here so we have an ammeter flowing into the switch which then goes through the parallel circuit down to zero volts so I'm going to connect my ammeter straight in to my switch then the other side of the switch we have the buzzer and the bulb both connecting to it now the bulb doesn't matter which way round it goes but the buzzer it does you will need to connect the positive side to the positive side of the circuit and then finally the other two legs both go down to zero volts so hopefully when I press my switch we should see the current reading happen and we should see the bulb come on and we should hear the buzzer okay so the reading that we can take down there where we're measuring the current is 69.7 milliamps next circuit we have the switch we have the ammeter on the right hand side flowing through the buzzer and then we have the lamp to the left i'm going to put this on pause while i start build this Okay, so the circuit is built. We're measuring the current flowing down the right hand side of the circuit, parallel circuit, which is the buzzer. When I press the switch, we can hear the buzzer, we can see the lamp, and the current reading is 20 milliamps. 20 milliamps. Okay, let's build the third circuit. So in the third circuit, we're going to be measuring the current flowing through the bulb in the left hand side of that parallel circuit. So as we can see that the current reading in this circuit is 52. 52.4 milliamps. Okay, let's build the fourth circuit. And in this circuit, we're measuring the current coming out of the parallel circuit into naught volts. And that was reading 69.9, which is pretty, pretty close to 70 milliamps. Now, what have we learned in this circuit? Well, if we look at the lowest current reading first, it's telling us that the current flowing through the buzzer is 20 milliamps. In this circuit, we were only reading the current flowing from 5 volts through the switch and measuring the current flowing through the buzzer in the right hand side of the parallel circuit. That was 20 milliamps. So we can say that the buzzer draws 20 milliamps. In the third circuit, we were only measuring the current flowing through the bulb, flowing from 5 volts through the ammeter through the bulb down to zero. Even though the buzzer was coming on, we weren't measuring the current of it. So in this case, it was 52.4 milliamps. So we can say that the bulb draws 52.4 milliamps. In the first circuit, however, we were measuring the current flowing before the parallel circuit. In other words, before the current splits up 
with some of it going down the bulb and some of it going into the buzzer. So therefore we're measuring the current that the bulb and the buzzer are both drawing. Now we know that the buzzer draws 20 milliamps and we know that the bulb draws 52.4 milliamps. So theoretically those two values added together should equal that current reading in the first circuit. 52.4 plus 20 milliamps equals 72.4. We actually measured 69.7 milliamps, which is fairly close. And in the final circuit, we can see that we measured the current flowing out of the parallel circuit. So it's where the current through the buzzer and through the bulb have joined together again and flow back down to zero volts. So therefore, once again, that total should have been the 20 milliamps plus 52.4 milliamps added together, 72.4, and this was 70 milliamps. So these two values, whilst they're slightly different, are pretty accurate to one another, and they are also pretty accurate to the individual current. This is the end of this tutorial.